like some big huge thank, thank you to everyone who's on the vacation Bible camp this year. Um, feels good. Feels good that we're going to be back in person. Now there was a point in this year where we weren't really sure what was going to happen. Did you want to have an in-person UBS or what it was going to look like or was going to be a drive through event this year? So it's going to be all outside or who knew? So I'm very excited that we're here and that we have volunteers that are ready to make it happen this year for kids. Um, I think we've got a pretty good role crew already signed up. Um, about half of our typical enrollments already pre-signed up. So we usually get a lot of walk-ins too. So, and lots of new names that I've never seen before. So lots of people we've seen, seen maybe once or twice, there are lots of people that are brand new. So thank you for helping me make this happen. Um, if you were here in person, if you signed in and left your t-shirt size, if you're online, if you will email me your t-shirt size, I'm going to put in that order on Monday. So it's just helpful that way you get a size that you like <laughs> and that fits you properly and that I order enough t-shirts. So if you can send that information to me by email. Um, we also have a few donations that we need, things like egg cartons, paper towel rolls, and water bottles. We have a few big ones. So we don't need a ton. We need about 24 of each. So I think just within this group, we should be able to hopefully collect those and not have to reach out to the whole congregation because I don't need 3,000 people to have for <laughs> um, All right, so let's open with prayer. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for those who are gathered tonight. I praise you for this day and for the weather we've been having here in Kansas. I praise you for each person here. Um, just help us as we prepare to welcome the children of our community Help us to be ready for them. Help us to be ready to tell them how treasured they are to you. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen. All right. So I'm not, I don't think people have seen this yet. Um, it is the intro video that will just kind of give you an idea of the theme for the week and kind of the structure of the week. So let's check that out. <laughs> Get ready, guys. Rise to the stretch. God knows we got his, we got his, my comfort. We work on an epic quest. Nothing better. Living and chosen forever. Discover God's greatest treasure. to do this year. Um, Andrew, will you look I see there's some chat stuff. If there's anything I need to know, will you? I will. Hoping, can everyone online hear me okay? I'm sure we're not having any tech issues. Well, if it just said paper egg cartons, not sorry, phone. Paper, okay, paper egg cartons. Thank you, Melissa, that's helpful. So just a quick run through of our daily Bible points, our Bible buddies that we're gonna meet, our Bible verses we're gonna see, and our story. So on day one, our Bible point is going to be God knows you. The kids are going to meet Hobo the tree frog, and they're going to learn the verse, Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. And that will actually be the preschool verse for the entire week. They're just going to focus on one verse. And then that first day, they'll learn the story God identifies David as the future king. Day two, they're going to learn the Bible point God hears you. They'll meet Ruby. I'm not sure what kind of bird she is. Maybe I'm a call, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, we're going to learn, learn the verse, I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy, and hear the story, David escapes Saul's, Saul, right, Psalms to God. And if you want to stay at the end, I was going to do this, but I decided it would be kind of boring to do at home. 
This is the imagination station for day two, and it's super fun. So at the end, if you'd like me to show it to you, it's, it's pretty cool. So if you want to stay and play with me, we can do that. <laughs> I like to play. Susan will stay and play. I'll play. <laughs> day three, our Bible point will be God comforts you, Molly Wilder. We'll learn the Bible verse. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. And we'll hear the story of God creations to us. Day four, God forgives you. We'll erase the butterfly. And you know, I just have to say, like, this is why I think group is cool. Like, Grace, what a perfect name for that butterfly on that day. So, but you are a God of forgiveness, gracious and merciful, slow to become angry, and rich in unfailing love. And the story of Jesus from the Day five, we'll learn God chooses you when we bring in the Canaan. And our Bible verse is, I have called you by name, you are mine. And we'll do the story of Esther. So every year, oh, and then preschool always has their own special character in addition. I go, we'll have Chewy, who can't remember what kind of animal he is. Um, I think he's similar to a sloth. I saw it online, but I don't remember. And then they'll focus on the one verse all week. Um, this year, one thing that will be different, in the past, preschool has always come in at the end of the night. This year, just for COVID safety, we decided it would be better just to kind of keep those two groups separate. So we won't have the big, huge gathering at the end each evening. We'll have an elementary program and a preschool program that run concurrently, but separate. So our call and response. So every day when the kids hear the Bible point, they'll hear it at all their different stations as they go and visit. Um, so whatever the daily Bible point is, day one, God knows you, then like when they hear that, then everyone says, you are treasured. So that'll be our, our big call and response for the year. We'll sweep our hand as we say it. We try and build a lot of excitement and fun around them saying that all week long. They have fun with it. All right, so the evening has lots of stations. Our preschoolers visit four stations each night, and our elementary kids visit five stations each night. Um, and then just some information if you're a station leader. Uh, if you're not sure if you're a station leader, I think you will know, you should know. But just in case, um, you can look on the, the handout with the volunteers. So for elementary, the stations are games, kid bib, snacks, Bible adventures, imagination station, and music. For preschoolers, they're crafts, games, music, and Bible adventures. So if you're a station leader, you will be in one location each evening, the same location all week. Um, you can decorate that station if you would like to. I do have some supplies if you'd like to visit with me about things you could use. I can show you some things you want to use. You do not have to decorate your station. Um, like Nicole, you'll be in Fellowship Hall, so you probably won't want to decorate your station because there'll be child care on there all day. So some people like to, some people don't want to. Either way, it's totally fine. Um, you'll plan and lead your station activities from your leader's manual. If you have questions or you need me to help you gather supplies, let me know. Um, what works the best if you need supplies is if you just kind of let me know, hey, I'm going to need to go get some X, Y, Z, and I'll say, great. And then if you go get it, then we can reimburse you after the fact. Um, that just really helps me not to be trying to oversee 10 different stations and supplies that people need. So um, if you have something that you can't find, let me know and we'll figure it out. That was kind of quick. Any questions on station leaders? And station leaders, if you'd like to meet between now and then and kind of go over things, I would absolutely love to do that with you. We can sit down, we can go over your spot, we can go through the days, ask questions, whatever helps you with your comfort level. All right, so then we also have crew leaders. Each child will be assigned a crew. We do mixed age crews, so kids will be all different ages within the elementary program, within the preschool program. We've used that format for a long time and it works really well. Um, group really promotes that format. It helps with kids not being with all their friends and kind of helps the, the older kids step up and be leaders. Um, helps build some cross-age relationships. So we found it to be a really good format. Um, this year we have three preschool crews and six elementary crews. 
So if you're a crew leader, you really have no planning that you need to do. Your job is really about building relationships with kids. You'll travel with them throughout the evening. You'll be the first person that greets them during the evening. You'll be the last person who says goodbye to them at the end of the night. Um, you'll model enthusiasm and excitement. You'll help station leaders if they need you to do things like help pass things out, or they'll say, um, round up, you're gonna, you're gonna talk about these questions. So you'll leave those, those conversations in your small groups. So they recommend crews be about five kids. Some of our crews might be a little bigger, but we have two leaders in every crew. So if the crews are bigger and it feels like when you do the rounding up for discussion, it might help to make two little groups within your crew, like two mini crews within your crew. Okay, um, things for COVID, extra bathroom and hand washing this year between places if you can. You have lots of sanitation stations around the building as you walk by them. Feel free to add, grab some hand sanitizer. So we'll want to do that this year. Um, at the end of the night, there's usually a note that goes home every day. You'll make sure kids get those notes to go home. And then you'll be responsible for signing kids in and out each day. If you look in your handouts, there'll be just a little sign in, sign out sheet that you'll have each day. Um, if you will just turn this in to me at the end of the night, it'll help me because I will. Last year, we did a whole week long one. We're going to try a day by day one this year. Um, that way, I can get attendance going as the week goes on. But just kids sign in, parents sign them in when they, when they drop them off, parents sign them out when they leave. That way, we just make sure every kid is with the person they're supposed to be with. So, good safety. Well. My online friends, any questions or anything? Okay. So crew assistance, that would be the second leader within the crew. And we have lots of youth helpers in these roles. So your job is to travel with your crew. You're going to assist your crew leader, whatever they ask you to do, you're going to help them do. And your biggest role, I think, is to have fun. Um, the younger kids really look up to you. So get involved, have fun. And I always say this every year, put your phone away. <laughs> if you're on your phone, that second grader sitting next to you is going to be more interested in what you're doing on your phone than what's happening in their station. So put your phone away. If you want to put it in my office for the evening, you can. Uh, if you're trustworthy, you keep it on yourself and just, you know, very <laughs> not, not to look at it all the time, and that's fine too. So make a good choice for yourself on that. All right, preschool schedule. So we have three preschool crews scheduled right now. We have Pogo's Pals, Pogo is the tree frog. We have Chewy's Chums, Chewy's this little guy. And then we have Raymond's Buddies, Raymond is the Cayman. So preschool crews start each night in their classrooms. They start arriving at 6.30. Actually, they'll probably start arriving at 6.20, maybe 6.10 the first night. Um, they'll have some time to do what we call exploration stations, which are kind of centers. They get to kind of pick between two or three activities that they want to do. You'll show the Bible Buddy video in your classroom for preschool crews this year. Then at 6.50, you start rotating. You can see you'll go to one of four stations, games, crafts, Bible, adventures, and music. Each station is 15 minutes. And then we built in five minutes to rotate from station to station for the preschool crews. At 7.25, all the preschool crews will go back to their room. They'll have a good time for a bathroom break. You'll have a snack to have. And then if you would like to show your crew the Kid Vid Cinema video, that's up to you if you want to for the preschool crews. Not sure if you'll have time, but especially if you're like, oh, we've got 10 minutes and I'm not sure what to do with them, then that Kid Vid Cinema is a good option for you for that time. And then you'll rotate to your other two stations. And then at 8.20, you'll be back in your classroom for your closing circle. You'll do that in your classroom. And then parents will start picking up around 8.30. Um, when we look at the elementary schedule, elementary doesn't finish until 8.35. So if parents pick up elementary kids first, it might be 8.35 before they get to your room to pick up kids. And then um, Alex Darby is our game leader for the little kids. Sometimes if it rains, it seems like there's always one rainy day during the week then um, they'll move into fellowship hall, the opposite side of the room. Nicole, I checked, there's only one group that overlaps a little, so it might be a little crazy if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
Hopefully it won't. We just never know. All right, elementary schedule. So elementary, when kids come in, they'll go straight to the sanctuary. Pre-leaders will be in their marked sections waiting for kids. So if everything starts at 6.30, first night, kids will start showing up. You just never know, maybe even six o'clock. They come pretty early. So that first night, we try to get here a little extra early. The next couple nights, they won't get here quite so early after that. So 6.30 to 6.45, we do our opening. We'll have Andrew and Susan doing our skit. Uh, we'll do our introduction where we introduce our Bible points and our Bible buddy for the day. And then they'll be off to their rotations. So their rotations are 20 minutes. And they rotate through five stations. And they just keep going back to back through their stations. And then again, we'll gather at 825. We'll have a quick closing. I'll always talk about what our mission project is and how we're how we're doing on our mission project. We typically sing a song at the end that we've been practicing and then we close prayer and kids are on their way. Um, the end, you know, like the schedule's a little different this year since we're not having a meal. And so trying to condense, so we started a little later so parents would have time to get a meal in before they got here. Closing will be really fast this year. Um, and then ring plan for games, games will move into the atrium. That'd be the lads leading that. Any question on schedule? That was really fast. Um, crews, if you're not sure which crew you are, it's on the volunteer list. Quickly, crew one is Rontiers. Crew two is Joey Darby with Ivan and Cora. Crew three is Chris Morgan Hispanic with Cooper. Crew four is Lisa Bagshaw and Connor. Crew five is Kristen Robertson and Grant. Crew six is Marissa McClymans and Marissa McClymans. All right, COVID protocols for this year. This is where things are going to look a little different. Um, masks is pretty much the main thing. We're going to ask all volunteers to wear a mask, no matter where, where you are, what you're working with. The one exception would be if you are outside. So games leaders will be outside. Um, so all volunteers, we are going to ask to wear a mask. And volunteers, if you're outside with your crew during games, you can remove your sin too. Um, elementary children, all elementary children will be asked to wear a mask during the program. And it will be optional for our preschool children since they meet that five member category. And then and they may be removed when they're outside and, and when they're snacking. So another change for this year is um, we're just doing prepackaged snacks. Uh, Amy White really helped me a lot planning for COVID protocols for this year. And one of our biggest concerns was protecting volunteers when we were planning. And she said it is not a good idea for 10 people to be in the kitchen in close quarters preparing the meal. So, you know, that's changed a little since between now and then, but it's just kind of how it is for this year. Trish is our snack coordinator. Do you want to talk about snack at all? Not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, we'll just have we've got to, we'll just have some prepackaged snacks that we kind of have planned. We do have for the last night on Thursday, we do have pineapple dream trailer coming. I don't know if you guys have had that. That's that pineapple bowl whip stuff. And so that will be the special treat is they will get to have dole whip or pineapple dream or whatever it's called. So the other and nights. Cool. The volunteers too. Like yes, volunteers. Yes. And, and, <laughs> yes. and they're and we're it, we're gonna do kind of a heavy snack, so it should be a fairly substantial snack for them, not just a bag of gummies or something. We're gonna try and have you know, something healthy, something maybe not as healthy. And and there also is a room that, that Jamie suggested for a, a hospitality room for the volunteers to have more snacks if they would like something. So yes. I feel like I was going to say something at the next. Pineapple dream will be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, and so Nicole, like, so they'll grab all their snack and start eating, and then you can start Kidvid once they're kind of all in their spots and snacking. Oh, yeah. Kidvid is new for us. We haven't, sometimes we've combined that with Bible Adventures. So it's kind of a new station this year. Great. Cool. All right, other protocols, um, just enhanced cleaning and hand washing. Um, station leaders, if you can try it, we'll make sure you have lots of Clorox wipes. If you can try your best to sanitize your station between groups, we'll have some spray. So if you use some supplies, you can spray it on supplies between groups. 
And then another big change we made, I didn't really talk about this on the schedule, I should have. Um, we tried our best to move, have smaller groups of kids in larger spaces this year. So this will be Imagination Station back here. We're also doing one-way hallways, so like the way they rotate through their things, they'll, they'll just kind of make a big loop. Um, so groups aren't like crisscrossing and all that kind of stuff. So um, we try to use those nice big spaces in our church. So. Our mission project for this year, we're partnering with the, the big mission that group does. This year it's Mosquito Nets um, for Africa. So I know like the game station always has like a game that relates to the project. Never done the project that's gone with the group programming. And I remember leading games and it was kind of awkward because one of your games always related to that mission. And then it was kind of like, oh, how can I kind of change this to make this fit? So between that and with COVID this year, it just kind of was like, okay, let's just go with their project and go to try this year. So um, we've done mosquito nets before. I feel like we had some mosquito nets, but I'm not sure if we have them anymore. So Jerry might know that for me. Every $10 that we raise, we'll um, donate the net. So every night I'll kind of, update the kids how much we've raised and kind of make that tangible for them with, you know, we've raised $200. That means we can we supply 20 nets. We might have a cute little graphic or something to go with it to show them how many nets we manage each day. So if you're a crew leader, you'll want to encourage your group to keep donating throughout the week. All right, decorating committee. We're going to begin July 5th at 1 p.m. to decorate. On um, that first day, if we have some men that would like to join us, that would be really helpful. We'll have some kind of heavy stuff. We are going to try and get uh, the communion table off the, the uh, chancel on Sunday after church. So if anyone are here Sunday after church and can stay and help, that would be great. Um, and then Monday, we have like a big arch to build and stuff. So if anyone's available to come help, in addition to people I've already reached out to, that would be wonderful. And um, the rest of the week, We'll start at 10 o'clock on Tuesday and Wednesday and decorate typically for about three hours is what we do. And typically we're finished by Wednesday. So usually those three days will get us nice and decorated for the week. And we could definitely use some more hands. So if you teenagers are awesome and it's fun. We have a lot of fun. Typically the first day I buy you, might be Tuesday, I'll buy a pizza for volunteers that day for helping. So come help us decorate. We have fun. Registration. So uh, if you have kids, if you make sure they're registered by Monday, June 28th, that's really helpful. I'm just doing t shirt order that day. And Planning Center is so awesome. Like if kids are registered, I can literally click a button and it tells me exactly how many t shirts I need to order in every size. I don't have to like, go through and count them or anything. It also lets me make my groups really nice and easily in Planning Center. So there's a lot of cool stuff in there. As a volunteer, you do get a discount for your children, grandchildren. Uh, it's VLNTR21. So registration's $10, you get a $5 discount, so it's $5. Just mostly helps cover t-shirt costs for, for kids for the week, so. And I'm not sure if it's our new kids that you registered with kids or not. If you can't and you aren't sure, let me know and I will check for you. Okay, just a few logistics. Um, Sunday, if all volunteers can be here at 5.50, that way we're nice and prepared when kids start walking through the door at 6 o'clock. And then Monday through Thursday, if you can be here, especially if you're a crew leader. Crew leaders absolutely need to be here by 6.10 in the sanctuary, ready to welcome their crew. You're that first person to interact with them and show them that we're glad they're here. So. Um, I don't think anyone will need nursery for the week. Sarah Lads has asked me any, any need that we're thinking of for nursery. Okay, I will let her know that. And then Trisha shared that we're going to have pineapple dream on Thursday. And then the hospitality room. So since we're not having a meal this year, I wanted to do a little something to say thank you for all of you. Like I know volunteers always have a lot of fun kind of gathering, having some time to visit and catch up with people. So we're gonna set up the conference room as a hospitality room. Anytime you have a break, you're welcome to go in there and hang out. There'll be snacks and drinks in there. Um, and I'm gonna try something new. Group provides a daily devotion for leaders. So if you want, it's totally optional. If you'd like to join me for the daily devotion, it'll be 5.45 on Sunday. 
and six o'clock Monday through Thursday, we'll meet in the conference room to do a quick little five minute devotion before we get started for the evening. Thursday evening, when everything's done, um, if you can stay and help reset rooms, that is super helpful. We'll need our building reset for Sunday morning so we can do our normal things on Sunday. So, um, you know, that leaves a lot of work for station leaders. So if you're a crew leader or a crew assistant, if you can find a station and help them clean up that, they would be so appreciative of that. And then Sunday morning, um, wear your t-shirts and children will sing that morning in church. All right, that's a lot of information in a quick amount of time. So questions, uh, thoughts, ideas. This has kind of been one of those years that I kind of feel like I'm winging it a little. <laughs> so there are definitely probably things I haven't thought about um, like I typically have. So no. Oh. On the music for the for the preschoolers on Sunday morning, they just will they just go up with the big guys and just kind of so look cute. No, they'll do what they is do. The preschoolers will sing like maybe two songs on their own, and the elementary kids okay. will sing two or three songs on their own. Okay. So if if preschoolers want to get in there one of the nights and get up on stage to practice, we can find a time to do that. Jolie thought yes. like they're preschoolers. If we go up they're on stage, cute, they'll yeah. follow us and hang out. Okay, there. sounds good. So, And we'll probably do theirs nice and early in the service while well, they're not super. super <laughs> <laughs> well, they're fresh. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Thanks for joining us online. Um, I'll send out the video to those of who weren't able to be here so they can catch up on the information. If you haven't signed in to some of your t shirt size, don't forget to do that. All right. Andrew, will you close us in prayer? I will, but first I just want to say thank you for all your preparations in advance. Um, for uh, I'll be excited for it. Thanks for having me in heaven. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's pray. God, we give you thanks for this day, for the anticipation and the preparations um, to help children uh, come to know more about your love. God, help us to remember that each one of us is indeed treasured, um, that you look at us and that you love us, and help us to share that with others. Give us strength and endurance as we prepare. Um, and help us to have fun uh, as part of this whole week. We offer it, these things to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, what color are the t-shirts? So they're kind of, I'm trying to remember, they're kind of a, they're not turquoise. They're like a blue, kind of a tealish blue. Yes, I can show you. A okay, that's okay. Yeah. I, I was just, yeah. Yes. Just curious. Yeah. Jolie, there's... I showed it to her and she's like, is that the color? And I was like, I think so. She's like, I like it. We've never done that color before. Okay. So, kind of close to Chris's color, a little lighter. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you all for coming. Oh, you want to play with me? You can play. <laughs> Thanks for everyone online. Thank you for coming tonight. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.